I even followed it back then. Judge, how, um, um, you've written and expressed opinion about, um, the need for diversity on the bench and, um, advocated for those ideas. Um, do you think that uh, a lack of pr proportionality or diversity on, on the bench that may occur um, is in itself evidence of an invidious discrimination? How would you think about it? How should we think about that? I have, <clears throat> pardon me, sir, I do believe, uh, Senator Sessions, that uh, diversity in the, on the bench is important. I think it helps instill confidence in the justice system. I believe it also uh, reaffirms that this is a land of opportunity. Anyone can grow up and become a judge. And so I think to that extent, it is important. I um, have not ever written that I believe there should be proportionality on the bench, so I'm not well, it's sure what issue. you're I mean, referring uh, to, we, sir. We talk about the importance of diversity, um, and at some point, does that mean that we should have some sort of balance and a pay to have a balance affecting all the uh, different backgrounds and gender um, and is that in itself a uh, proof that uh, discrimination is occurring? Let me <coughs> preface my statement first of all by saying there could be issues uh, regarding whether that's disparate impact um, uh, discrimination cases that come before me. So. Uh, if I were confirmed, uh, it would be not proper for me to comment on that issue now and sort of hypothetically say how I would rule on some type of um, disparate treatment or disparate impact case. Um, other than saying that I do believe that diversity on the bench is a good thing, I certainly have not advocated for proportionality or in any of my writings or anything I've done or said. Having said that, I do want to um, emphasize, uh, Senator Sessions, that if you look at uh, my record as a judge and as a lawyer, that I have uh, faithfully followed the law and do not believe that there should be any kind of prejudice or bias in judicial decision making. Well, I think that kind of gets to the core of the matter. I was going to ask you, do you think you can give um, fair justice to a an Irish Catholic man, uh, I hope that you can. I expect that you will, and likewise, I think uh, an, an Irish Catholic male judge can do justice to a Korean or a minority. Um, and we've got to be careful uh, as we make comments. You said in an article, quote, even when there is more diversity on the bench, minority judges still need to maintain the disguise of objectivity or else face challenges to their decision. Um, close quote. Um, well, I remember Justice Sotomayor, and something that was troubling to me, quoted favorably a comment that said, um, uh, there is no objectivity, just a series of perspectives. Um, makes, still makes the hair stand up on my neck. I think that's a, a, a dangerous philosophy. What did you mean that um, uh, judges, minority judges, need to maintain a disguise of objectivity or else face challenges to their decision? Senator, thank you for giving me the opportunity to address that. Um, I, I uh, participated in that discussion uh, review of a book journal two decades ago as a student, and I frankly had not even read that in the last two decades, and in preparing for this process, I became reacquainted with things I had done as a student, and I was frankly quite amazed that I had even made that statement. Um, I completely disagree 
that there is no objectivity? Absolutely. Our system of justice requires it. Uh, litigants, parties, counsel are entitled to objectivity. And I think our rule of law would simply break down if everyone were to just insert their own personal biases. I mean, our system of justice and this great country exists because there is a rule of law which we all respect. And I can assure you, Senator Sessions, that in what I've done as an officer of the court, as a corporate litigator, in what I've done as an assistant United States attorney, as a Department of Justice attorney, and as a judge, I have faithfully followed the rule of law. And I would not um, let bias or prejudice in any way influence my decisions. Well, I think some of these speeches we have, and I think the uh, zeal to have more diversity on the bench has led to some rhetoric from a lot of our nominees. I've seen a lot of it, actually, that I think go beyond uh, what is um, contemplated in the American system of justice, which is the judge takes that oath to not to be a respecter of person and to impartially follow the, uh, uh, the uh, law and the, and the facts of the case. And that's the oath that they take. And that's a deep thing. And if a person appearing before the bench feels that the judge's personal experiences, their ethnic background, their religion, or um, their political philosophy, it causes them to not to listen fairly to their case, not to fairly find the facts in their case, wouldn't you agree that the whole system is in jeopardy? Actually, you just said the system would be in jeopardy. I agree with you. Uh, oh, thank you. I, the whole American legal system, I, I guess, Judge uh, Pratt, uh, the whole cross-examination idea, things we were taught in law school, is, to me, uh, based on a belief that truth is ascertainable, there is some objectivity, and the process is to try to bring the truth out, and a judge's rule to allow this process to occur in a fair and objective way, and then to honestly and objectively apply those truthfully found facts to, to the law. Would you agree with that? Yes, Senator Session. I agree wholeheartedly, 100% with that. Uh, 